Hey guys, it's Bryce here with another quick tip on some different ways to use the extrude command. I will start this quick tip by using one of my favorite commands though. I will hit the S key on my keyboard. Then I'm going to start searching by typing extrude to locate the extrude command. Let's start real slow with this one and add four holes to this flange. Notice that the operation switches to a cut when the extrude intersects with an existing body. You can manually change the operation though. In this case, I want to add holes to both flanges. So let's change the cut to go through all. Ah, if you notice though, it cuts through the main housing. In this case, the flanges and the housing are all one body, so I can't use the bodies to cut option, but we will show this in action in a few seconds. Let's change the end condition to two object and select the opposite face. This will ensure if the thickness of the flange ever updates, the cut for the holes will always go the correct distance. Now let's use the same sketch. I will turn it back on by hitting the light bulb. I will use the same sketch profiles, but this time let's change the start condition. Here we will use the From Object option and select the face on the opposite flange. Now I can use this arrow to start driving the extrude and it will start from the selected face. But I want to drive this extrude parametrically again, so let's change the end condition to Two Object. Now here's a bonus tip. I want to select the face on the opposite side of this flange without rotating. Hold your left mouse button down for an extra second and a list will appear with entities that are in the location of my cursor. I'll pick the face and boom, the extrude is complete. The main advantage of using one sketch is that if I ever need to make a design change, I only need to edit one sketch. Next I want to start working on the flange this valve connects to in this design. I want to incorporate a 4mm tolerance from my current sketch plane. So let's use the extrude tool once more, but this time let's change the start condition to offset plane. Here we can key in a value for the offset. This is saving me from manually creating an offset plane for this connecting flange. Finally, I want to cut a hole through this plate so it has a two millimeter offset from this shaft. So let's start a sketch on the face. Use the intersect tool to grab the profile of the shaft that intersects this sketch plane, then use the offset tool to drive it two millimeters outside. Just to make my sketch clean, I'll turn the profile of the shaft into construction geometry. I hope that wasn't too fast, but now we are back at the extrude tip. I'm going to change the end condition to go down to the housing. Let's turn on a section analysis to see what is really going on. Right now the extrude cut obliterates everything in its path, but I just want it to affect the gland plate. Let's expand the objects to cut. Notice there is a list of bodies that are cut by this extrude. I can deselect the bodies that are not meant to be cut. Well that's it for this quick tip, until next time.